So I was wanting to make a video on how I set up all my safeties on the Holly software. I figured I'd go over that with you guys. Uh, first things first, you go to the system ICF. You go to sensor, scaling, and warnings. And for all these things up here, you can set safeties for. Uh, I believe I only have it set up for oil pressure, fuel pressure, and voltage. Well, you just click on what you want safeties for. And you can change all this. You can change the minimum display, the maximum display, what's normal, where, you know, where it should be. The green is where it should be. And then caution, max, and minimum. And that's where you, know, you want uh, the safety to kick in. And I have mine set to 15 pounds of oil pressure. If it hits 15 pounds and below, you can come down here and you can tell it what to do. Uh, you could just go right here and warning enable and do a timing offset. But I just go over here and I enable switched caution output. And then I'll show you how to set that up later to what that does. But, uh, and I also have a uh, go over fuel pressure same thing if it goes uh, to 20 pounds or less it'll uh, do the switch caution output and same thing with battery voltage if it gets below 10 volts it'll go to the caution output and this works well on the dyno my alternator belt flew off and none of us caught it and we were getting ready to make a hit and Josh hammered it and it just blup 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 and that's because I didn't have any voltages below 10 volts and it turned on the caution output and I'll show you what I, how I have this caution output set up you go over here to the boost ICF and you have all your regular boost control settings and all your boost safety setup over here we go in here at the bottom to switch trigger, caution output, and you activate it for however long, or you set it up for how long it has to be active for. And I do 0.1 second, you know, that's how long that it's like at the, my oil pressure, how long it's at that pressure where I got the caution set up for. And I want it to act fast. So I just hit 0.1 second. And you can go over here and you can just do ignore, revert to wastegate, or cut ignition. I have it as cut ignition. So it's like hitting a rev limiter. And as soon as that happens, and you're, you know, it makes you think, okay, what's going on? Something's happening. Something's kicking on a rev limiter. And then you look farther into it and you figure out what's up. But there's plenty of ways to do it. That's the way I do it. Seems to work well. It's pretty, pretty simple. So I kind of skipped over this earlier and I figured some people would be interested in it. I better go back over it. You know, all your boost safeties, your boost ICF, and it's just the main first tab, the boost setup tab. You scroll down to the bottom where the safety setup is. This is where we did the switch trigger, the caution output. Up here is all the boost safety stuff. This is how you can set up your boost cut and everything. I got it set up here. If it goes over 36 pounds of boost, it reverts back to wastegate. And mine's set up for dome, so it'll just cut all the dome pressure off of it, off the top of the gate. And I got it if it sets up, if it's at 36, above 36 pounds for half a second, then it's boost cut, it'll cut ignition. So, that's just how I set it up. You can do it any other way, really. I mean... The only reason I got it set up at 36 pounds is because we just keep cranking on this thing and my map sensor is a three and a half bar and that's about as high as it'll read as like 36 point whatever. So I figured once I hit the max of the map sensor then I better be a cut and boost. And then you could set up if your dome pressure is above a certain amount it'll cut it or you can go over here and you can change what it does ignore when we were on the dyno i just hit ignore on everything because we just kept cranking it and i was right there staring at the laptop so if something happened i could we could abort it the run and no big deal 
but uh and over here on the dome pressure i got if it goes but above 60 pounds it'll revert back to wastegate i don't mess with any of this other stuff i also have another safety setup for uh my fuel injector duty cycle i go over to the advanced icf 1d tables I set up a 1D table timing offset to duty cycle and I mean my Bosch 210s they flow a lot of power and on the dyno at when I made 976 I was only at like 60% duty cycle so there's no reason it should be up to 90 and 100 percent um, you know I'm a cheater I run closed loop on all the time I give it uh, 100% uh, authority so it can make 100% up or down which is silly but I just do that just in case something happens it could save the motor or whatever it just makes it really easy on me uh, but if for some reason something happens and it goes over 93% duty cycle it'll pull 20 degrees of timing and obviously I'd be able to fill that and know that something was wrong and I could abort the pass and look into it farther uh, obviously this wouldn't be a good idea for people that are running smaller injectors or are running closer to the limit on the injectors they have but for me I mean even if I make a little over a thousand I'll never be close to that on Bosch 210s you know but uh so that's what I do just in case you know because if something crazy happens and closed loop is going 100% but it's still running lean or acting stupid you know that'll cut 20 degrees out and the car fall on its face and then I would know to check it out look farther into it uh, I also have it set at 30% TPS I mean you really don't need that but I did that anyways But there you go I hope all this stuff helps you guys out um, it can be a little complicated trying to figure out what you want to do and how to do it but the cool thing about the Holly software is you can basically do almost anything you could think of it's just finding how to do it